Hey guys, thank you for purchasing my pattern for um, Kiki and Cola, the Koala Rattle Slash Teether um, pattern. I'm going to show you how to do the leaf bow. On Kiki, I have it on her head as a hair bow, and then on Cola, I made it a bow tie. You can obviously you put it wherever you want. Um, I put it on the side, it can be in the middle. You can do two bows, which would actually be kind of cute. So let's just get into it. The, you'll need a uh, 3.5 millimeter hook. I used Hobby Lobby brand. I love this cotton. And this color is olive. And that's just for that center part of the bow. So you really only need a tiny bit of that. And then this is called sage. And they're both cotton yarns. I chose cotton because this is for a baby. They're going to be putting it in their mouths. And acrylic yarn tends to have a lot more like little strands that come loose and I would just be really worried about that getting caught in a baby's throat so I suggest avoiding that kind of yarn and just stick with cotton and I did give this to one of my friends who had a six month old and she slobbers all over the thing and hasn't had a problem so that's what I suggest. The first step for the bow is to chain five, just do a slip knot, chain five. And then it says slip stitch into the fourth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, four. Slip stitch into that. And then slip stitch into the one remaining chain. And then chain four. Two, three, four. Next step, slip stitch into the fourth chain from the hook. So now we just did that chain four and we're gonna go down to the fourth. So one, two, three, four, slip stitch into that. Okay, the next step says slip stitch into the middle of the two loops. So we have our first loop here, that's the other loop. Basically, just somewhere in the center is fine because that's going to be covered by that darker green yarn anyway. So just like right in here, it's just a slip stitch to sort of bring it all together in the center again. All right, so then it just looks like that with your two loops for the bow. The next step says slip stitch into the first loop you made. So this one here, because we you know we've been coming around this way now. So we're back to the first loop. We're gonna go into the center of it. Again, this is it's a tiny bow, so you don't really see the loop, but you kind of have to open it up and go into the center of that loop and slip stitch into that. <clears throat> And then the next step says to crochet all of these into the loop you just put your slip stitch into and I have parentheses all of those stitches you're gonna put into that same hole that we just did the slip stitch so you have a single crochet after that so right back into that same opening single crochet you see how now you can see the hole a little better half double crochet Again, the hole is opening up even more. And then two double crochets, and all of this into that same loop. And then another half double crochet. Single crochet. And a slip stitch. And that was everything in those parentheses in the pattern. And look, you see how a leaf's forming? And the hole is now a lot more visible. All right, and then we got, you know, do the same thing on the other side. Um, so the next thing, again, slip stitch into the middle of the two loops. Again, this is not something that has to be an exact spot, but here's our other loop on this side. So somewhere in the center is fine. This is not gonna be seen at all. It'll be covered by the center of the bow. I 
Okay, now we're going to start the other um, side of the bow. Slip stitch into your loop just like we did the other one. And again, you may need to pull it apart a little bit to see where that hole is. So there's mine right here. Slip stitch into that. And then again, everything in the parentheses goes into this same um, hole that we just did that slip stitch. So a single crochet. And a half double crochet. See it opening up. Two double crochet. Another half double crochet. Single crochet. And a slip stitch at the end. So here's what mine looks like. And yeah, the hole on this one is a little more open than this. That's just a matter of, you know, tension and I probably just was pulling a little tighter when I was doing the chains on that on this side over here, but it's fine. It's really not going to affect the way the bow looks at the end. Okay, the next step says slip stitch into the slip stitch from the previous round in the middle space. So the one we did before um, that we stuck in the center, you can go into that now. And again, even if you end up just somewhere random in the center, again, it doesn't matter. It's not going to show. So just get your hook in there in the middle just to bring it a nice, you know, to cinch it in the center. And that's all that matters when it says that. Okay, so now we're coming back around the two um, leaf ends of the bow. And we're going to be going into the actual stitches that we made instead of into the loop anymore. So it says to slip stitch into the first stitch you made in the first loop. So here's our loop. Okay. And we're going to slip stitch into the first one. One single crochet in the next stitch. Half double crochet in the next two stitches. So one here. And two. Now you should be at about the top center of the leaf. If you're not around here, then you probably started in the wrong spot down um, at the beginning. So we are going to do a double crochet and in the same stitch a peacock. So you don't you don't go into another stitch, you stay where you are, and as the pattern says, the peacock you chain two. And I don't know if I'm saying that right. Peacock, peacoat. I never looked it up. I probably should. So chain two, and then what you do is you go through this sort of front two. I don't want to call them loops here, but it's like the base of the of the chain two you did. So right in here, and then you slip stitch that. And that just makes that little point at the top of the leaf. Okay, so we just finished our peacock, and then do another double crochet. And all of this is in parentheses, so it all goes into the same um, stitch together. So here's our double, and it's in that. If you pull, you can kind of see what stitch is in. So we just put our double in there. Now we're putting in our peacock, so another double. Okay, so double, peacock, double. Now we move on to the next stitch. 
and it's half double crochet forming and then single crochet in the next two so one here and as you can see the last stitch on our um, going around on the leaf is where you put the last single crochet and then slip stitch to the next one which might be kind of tight. Okay, so technically that leaf is done. We're just gonna go around the other side and do the same thing. So you see how it gets a little curve to it, a little point at the end. Okay, so now we're gonna first slip stitch to the center of the bow, just right in the middle somewhere. And the same thing we just did on this side, we're gonna do all around here. Okay, now that both leaves are done, pattern says to fasten off, and all that means is you basically do like, you're gonna do a chain one, and then just pull. Now this, we can keep pretty short, because we're not going to tie the bow onto the head with, the, with this part of yarn. So we just need a little tail here. All right, so you should have like the pattern shows uh, two tail ends, the one we, at the end here and the one from the beginning. And I just tie them together around the center. So I sort of go around this way and then bring this one around that way and tie a knot. And you don't have to do it too tight, but I basically do that just to get, make it look even more like a bow. And you want to make sure that you tie it in the back just so that there's not like more of a bump in the front it'll just keep it more flat okay so now we're going to tie um, make the center of the bow and this is where that olive um, green uh, yarn comes in and you'll need about 20 inches the reason it's so long is it's going to be wrapped around the bow a bunch of times and you're going to need a tail to be able to sew it onto the head and if it gets too short it just makes it hard to get in there and attach it. So 28 inches and then tie it to the center of the bow. I do two knots just to make sure it stays and we're going to tie our knots on the same side that we did with the lighter green. Okay. So you've got four little loose strands back here, the two green and the two dark sage green ones. And our goal is going to be to hide them um, as we wrap it around. So the pattern says to wrap it around six or seven times. So before that, let's cut these a little shorter. We don't really need all of that in there. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and I think six looks pretty good. I don't think we need a seventh time around. Then you're gonna take your yarn needle. I always use a bent one. It's just easier to get into two pieces to sew them together. And we're gonna want to tie. Um, we're gonna want to secure the the center part on the back. And so I just go under a little chunk of what we just wrapped around, and I just do a simple knot, nothing fancy. I know it looks a mess back here, but all of this, when you sew it onto the head, you're not even gonna see it. 
you know, you can like tuck it away and all you're going to see is that. All right, and then I do one more knot just because I wouldn't want this to come off and it probably won't, but I always do more than I need to. All right, so there's the bow and there's the back with all these little loose strands that we're going to hide when we sew it on. So let's say we were putting the bow on him. He already has a bow tie, but you know. Um, I would just make sure as I sew this on that this doesn't happen. See those little green piece sticking out? So as I go around the bow, I'll make sure that's tucked in there. And then as I'm, you know, the parts that are attaching down to the gray of her head are going to keep them inside. All right, so that's pretty much it. And I hope that was helpful. And thanks again for purchasing my pattern. Is this not why you are here?